These are hungry fish. On the chart, it'll be labeled as Lahamadu Shoal, but locally, uh, the spa stone is halfway. Hi hey folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape. Today I'm with my good friend, Captain Sean Ruge from Riptide Charters. Today we're gonna vertically jig in Vineyard Town. So we're gonna use some light tackle techniques in an area that's traditionally known for wireline trolling. We're gonna try and get above the drift, come on down through, fish heavy soft plastics on the bottom and pick up some of those bigger bass that are moving through mid-May. So folks, today we were gonna film vertical jigging for striped bass, um, but I'm not sure the outcome's gonna be so hot. Either that, or we're gonna debunk the banana myth. They're breaking right here. Now these heavier soft baits help get down, so as we drift over the edge, you know, we're right in the strike zone. There he is. You got one? That fish was deep, right down near the bottom. These fish are holding very close to the bottom. Even though we're only 35 feet of water, there's a ton of tide. The wind is against the tide, so uh, just a little extra weight helps get down. Nice fish, Sean. We're, let's, um, let's bring up. We're going to pop back up to the drift and bounce these jigs right over the, the same spot there. So Mike's positioning the boat on the upcurrent side of Halfway Shoal, so upcurrent side of the bar. We're drifting back over. So when Mike's seeing fish on the fish finder, he's letting me know I'm dropping the paddle tails right off the back down to the bottom. And just about when the boat drifts into the rougher water here, we start getting picked up immediately. Should get bit here. Now that we're crossing, in, there it is. Now we're crossing yep, into the I'm rough water. Too. There we go. Man, these fish are really stacked up in here. Right on the rough water edge. Yeah, what I like about this technique is compared to trolling, is you can just pinpoint exactly where you want your baits to be. A little better fish. So one thing we noticed when we pulled up on the rip is you've got birds working, but you've got a mix of birds. You've got some gulls, and up higher, you've got a couple of adult gannets. And that's pretty common earlier in the season, but it also tells you that there's some bigger baits around. If you make a couple of drifts and you're not getting bit, rather than go smaller, which would be normally what I would do, Try going larger, because there's probably some larger herring around, probably some larger squid, and that's what's bringing these gannets in this far inshore. We're stemming the tide just in front of the rip here, and what Sean's gonna do is he's gonna cast up tide and let that bait sink just as it comes to the edge. And he's gonna effectively fish the swing. There he is. This might be a little better fish. Yeah, Mike, finally, a little bit nicer fish. This one's not quite as fat as the 20, mid-20-inch 20 fish we were getting, but finally upgrade to a legal fish and we'll get them back in the water. 